Hi viewers, welcome to Face to Face Live. My name is Alessandro and I will be with you for one hour as usual. Now I'm going to be talking about going on holiday with a friend of mine. And the question is, who doesn't like holiday? Because everybody does, including me, including you. And the reason is maybe, the question is, why do we need to go on holiday sometimes? Maybe because we need to escape from our lives once in a while. And I'm going to be talking about this topic with a friend of mine. She is Lisna Sari. Hi, Lisna, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Okay. Have a seat, Lisna. Yeah, thank you. So you are fine, yeah? Despite the fact that we are going to have our examination in a, <sighs> in a week. Yeah. So how many subjects do you have, by the way? like? Um, I have seven subjects. S seven subjects. For this semester. And the one that you find most difficult is? The most difficult one is, I think, uh, oh, scientific like, writing oh, scientific and writing. research method. Mm, scientific writing and research method, because it's those two subjects apparently deal with our yeah. thesis. Yeah, By the way, what's right. your topic for your thesis? I haven't known. Uh, I chose linguistic. Um, the topic is an analysis of pronunciation error among BIN students. Wow, that's really good. And who will you choose for your uh, supervisor? Uh, I still don't know yet, uh. but I think uh, for the linguistic one, uh, I I am with uh, Mem Clara. Mem Clara, okay. And what are the current activities, by the way, this now? Ah, uh, yeah, now um, I'm busy with preparation for my drama performance. Mm, yeah. uh, as you know, final exam is approaching, and also yeah, um, papers for final exam. Mm. And besides that, um, I also busy with uh, my preparation for going to Korea for my mm. student exchange. So, what's the title of the drama that you want that you are going to perform? By the way, as you like it by William Shakespeare. As you like it, yeah. and you are the actor also. No, no, mm. I'm um, costume and makeup mm. division. As you like it, it will be it will be on June seventeenth. Yes. Auditorium, yeah, fourth, right. fourth floor. So come and watch the show. Don't forget. And then you are busy with what is it? Like exchange program. Yeah. And you want to be, and you want to to do it in Korea. Yeah. For how long? For one semester. For when? one semester. Mm, okay. And is it true that going on holiday is one of your hobbies? By the way. Yeah, that's right. I think everyone loves holiday, right? Mm. Um, last month I just come back from Singapore. Singapore. Yeah, I think uh, holiday is uh, need. Uh, everyone needs holiday. Mm. Holiday. Um, uh, we can escape from our routine, and holiday is the best way to uh, refresh our mind, and we we will feel comfort and enjoy by mm. going on holiday. That's really true. One yeah. of the reasons is to one of the purposes is to escape That's from our right. activity. Routine. Yeah. Uh, because we are sometimes too busy, right? So we don't enjoy our life and right. holiday is what makes you enjoy your life. That's one thing. And then last month, uh, last month, Singapore. Yeah. How, I mean, who did you go with? Uh, I'm, I went alone. alone. Alone? Yeah. You were a lady, you were a girl. <laughs> alone? Are you, yeah. sh are you sure? Uh, I already uh, go there s uh, several times, so I went there to meet my friends or oh, your friends yeah. and you were not afraid of going alone no. traveling alone because <laughs> some people especially girls yeah. they think that i need to find some friends to go with unless i want to be in a danger they say <laughs> and what your what did your parents say did they allow you to go alone yes, yes because yeah i think every year i go there so i already familiar mm, with the places yeah. yeah so last month uh like so in a year how often do you go do you travel abroad like five times per year? <laughs> no, I think we don't have much time to ah. go on holiday like five times. So, but mm, I think two times. But it's uh, it's not abroad. Mm. Abroad and local. Okay. <laughs> so going on holiday is one of your hobbies, and That's I believe right. that this is not the only one hobby that you have. That means you have some other things that you consider to be your hobbies. What are they? Like swimming, like washing the plates, like uh, throwing away your books or <laughs> what? I don't know. Uh, I like swimming, but I cannot swim. So mm. I give up with that hobbies. And then I like watching Korean drama. So that's why I apply for student exchange to Korea. Mm. Yeah. So that's the reason why you want to go to Korea that's because of the right. drama, Korean dramas. Yeah, I want and to know about the culture and the language. So when you arrive in Korea, you will for sure watch the drama Koreas. 
if there is a live show. Yeah. Oh, okay. And well, because because going on holiday is your hobby. Well, it all started from one point. Let's say I have one hobby uh, which is doing magic, and it started when I was in junior high school, yeah. grade three. And what about going on holiday? When did it come to you? Mm, I'm like not a sure. Child, maybe like five year old child. Yeah, yeah. Maybe when I was in kindergarten, kindergarten, my parents mm. often brought me here and there, so I found it interesting going on holiday mm. and became addicted until now. So that's why. Oh, getting addicted to <laughs> going on holiday. Yeah. Okay. So, like, how, how old? Like five years? Um. Yeah. Five maybe years old. Around that years. Mm, okay. And we have a hobby here, and a hobby when you like it, there are some reasons that underlie. Uh, your feeling, for example, like doing magic. Why do I like doing magic? Is because uh, it's mir it's it's a miracle. I can make something that oh. seems impossible is actually possible. Then, what about you? Like uh, going on holiday? Why? What are the reasons? Uh, I think because uh, I found holiday is interesting and going on holiday um, not only just to know the place. Mm. I really love to eat. So, by going on holiday, I try so many kind of foods. I like culinary. Wow, yeah. you like. Oh. That's why. I so I eat a lot, exercise a lot. Um, I eat a lot, but exercise not a lot. Why not? <laughs> yeah, because uh, in my free time, um, mm. I often watching Korean drama or yeah, we have so many assignments to do. Mm. So yeah, maybe I exercise, but not uh, so much. often. Oh. Yeah. So you like to eat. Apparently, of yeah. Course. So whenever you travel, whenever you go on holiday, yes. uh, food is food one of is one of my favorite uh, thing that I have to uh, try. It, it is a must. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So from you know, like how many times? I mean, how many countries that you have ever visited so far? Uh, since I ever, uh, since I um, tra go uh, often go traveling with my friends. Yes. So just the Singapore and Malaysia, and like that, okay. Bali, Jogja. And what is the food that you like the most so far from your traveling? Mm, it's hard for me to choose because, because I love too many, every yeah. too many foods. Yeah. But I love Italian teas. Like Italian. spaghetti? Yes. Oh, pasta. wow. So. Italian. And now, uh, we, we know that English has three streamings. So whenever we yeah. attain our fifth semester, we are to choose either teaching, business, and tourism. And you were somebody taking tourism Teresa. streaming. And I, I don't know whether, I think it is the class with the smallest number of students, no? Or teaching? Uh, I think teaching. 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 And maybe you can tell us a little bit about the reasons that lie behind your decision to have taken that stream. Okay. Why? Because you want to travel a lot? Yeah, of course. First, because I love traveling so mm. much and I want to know about the tourism industry itself more detail. Mm. And then the second one is I want to get a job in the tourism field. Like mm. example, uh, becoming a tour guide or tour leader mm. or even flight attendants because that kind of job urge me to travel a lot. So yeah, I want to find a job that uh, fit with my passion. Mm. And if you could choose any job for you, yeah. what would that be? A tour guide or what? Mm. Any job. You, you just name it and then you get it. <laughs> I still don't have the idea now, but I really want to become a tour leader. Mm, a tour leader. Yeah. So, what does a tour what does a tour leader do? By the way, like. Uh, you accompany a, a group of people going mm. on holiday. It's like, for example, we have tour to uh, uh, Dubai. So oh, wow, well, Dubai. Yeah. Well, so I am as the tour of leader will guide all of them to go there. Mm. And I have tour leader have a subordinate. It's called tour guide. Mm, okay. So yeah. And we will talk more about uh, going on holiday later after the break. So don't go anywhere, stay tuned.
Hi viewers, welcome back with us on Face to Face, the only English spoken program on Binus TV with me Alessandro as your host and Liz Nasari as our guest. And we are just talking about uh, going on holiday. And later in this third segment and in, in the fourth segment, we are going to show videos, one of which is about Dubai, the other one is about Maldives. And we will let you check it out later. And now, Liz, now I move on to the next question like, uh, what do you guys actually learn in tourism stream? Because in teaching, we learn how to deal with students. We know how many, we know that there are so many kinds of students like talkative, yeah. naughty, uh, sleeping students. And we, are, and we are trained to deal with every single one of them. And also like our teaching methodology, lesson plan, etc. And in tourism streaming, maybe you can share with us a little bit about what you do. Maybe some of our juniors will, yeah. be, persu will be persuaded to take that stream. Actually, tourism streaming is very interesting for me. Uh, from what I learn, first I learn um, hospitality service and management, mm. and then hospitality uh, marketing and management, hospitality uh, service and industry. It's we learn about what is the characteristic of tourism nowadays yeah. and so on. And for the um, Hospitality marketing and management. We we'll learn marketing mix uh, about the marketing uh, in tourism itself, mm. and then I also learn about travel, hotel, and restaurant management. Restaurant management. Yeah, uh, and that subjects we we'll learn uh, to uh, how to table manner, how to mm. how table manner. Can you explain a bit? I mean, I'm curious about restaurant management. What is it all about, by the way? So it's actually uh, in that subject we also learn how to make a tour package. Mm. So in tour package, we insert that restaurant management. So we um, focus on the supply of the food and yeah, so like that. Okay, and now uh, I don't know, like maybe like last semester, you guys from tourism streaming like made a tour package. Yeah. If you want to go to Bogor or like yeah. uh, Borobudur, join us here. This is the prize and then you will get like four nights. You will go here, here and here. That's tour package. Yes. That's and how do you actually prepare, prepare for a tour package? Um, what, things to what things to consider? Uh, it's so many things. Oh, many things. The first thing, you have to choose your, mar uh, your segment. Mm. Your target market is it a child, adult, or teenager? Mm. So since we in s in fifth semester, so we choose teenager, right? Yeah. And then next, you have to choose your destination. After that, list down the places. Try to find a uh, unique and interesting places, so we people will attract mm. with our tour. So last yeah. semester, your desti destination was. To Jakarta. Jakarta. Oh, to Jakarta. Anything else to say regarding this tour package? Yeah, and after you choose and decide uh, what city, you do a survey to that place. So mm. you survey to see what kind of place is it uh, comfortable enough for teenager or yeah, is it a good place to visit? Mm. Is it uh, yeah something like? So, so many things to consider. So, so many things to consider. Yeah. And then, may I know, like, how long does it take to fully uh, make a tour package? From okay. the listing down, from survey, from, uh, you know, like, choosing the destination, etc. from choosing the segment, like, how long in total? Uh, it's about three until four months, I think. Three until four months. Uh, so, it's quite it's long. Yeah, yeah, of course, because we have to survey first and then uh, make the itinerary it's so much mm, okay and then what are the things that you enjoy most when it comes to going on holiday some people think that uh, the most interesting thing when going on holiday is seeing new people or oh. maybe like uh, exploring the world or maybe like uh, getting myself lost <laughs> I don't know what about you um, usually before I go to one place, I always search first the food. Mm. Yeah, since very I good. Love it's kind of like the food. Food. Yeah. Yes, that's really good. I will uh, search a new restaurant, new kind of food, and then when I get there, I will try them, mm. all of them. 
that's how to that's how to travel smartly. Yeah. <laughs> always always check before you go. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's that's an important important thing to do before you go. So I can say that food is one of the things that you really enjoy when traveling. Okay. Any other things like uh, uh, I don't know, like what else? Yeah. Uh, um. Besides food, yeah. Also going to the like the amusement park mm. and yeah around um, tourist place mm. something like that so uh, let, let me go back a little bit to the food yeah? yeah so because you said that you like food so much when you travel i can say that you will eat quite much when you travel yes yes of course so when you go back from your traveling Mm, I gained so much weight. Oh, <laughs> like how many kilograms? No, like? uh, it's like uh, <laughs> two kilos, I think. That's what I'm trying to ask. Yeah, because like in one day I can eat around five until six times. Five, you know. five until six times yes. a normal portion. No, 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 no. it's like I'll try oh. the, the mini portion. Mm. Wow. I like to try everything, so yeah. And you gain like two kilograms? I no. mean, how many days? Like you travel to get two kilograms, like three days traveling. Yeah, um, four days until five days. Mm. Right. So maybe you can tell us a little bit when you go to Singapore. What is your recommendation? The place to for food. Um, when we go to Singapore, of course, don't forget to try the salted egg chicken. Mm. It is the food that everyone loves. Everyone. Uh, who is going to Singapore will try that one first mm, that because it's uh, a very recommended one mm, it's and very recommended and I have an uncle my uncle says to me that when you travel when you want to try food do not care about the price it doesn't <laughs> matter how much price it That's costs right. if you want to get if you want to seek pleasure don't care about it yes. are you a sort of person who agrees on that one yes I absolutely agree with that mm. because yeah, if you want to go on holiday, uh, it means that you already decide the budget mm. and and you also spend your time right to enjoy the holiday. Mm. So, what's the point of uh, thinking about the price? Just let it, just eat it, mm. just uh, buy what you want. Mm. And then you also mentioned that you like to go to amusement park. Yeah. Well, amusement park is the same as theme park. Yes. In Jakarta, we have do fun. Yeah. And then, like in other countries, you also go to amusement park? Yeah. Like what? It's like uh, in Singapore, it's Universal Studio. Mm. And in Malaysia, it's Genting, Genting Highland. Island. Yeah. yeah. And like so far, how many theme parks have you ever been to? Let's uh, say, let's just include Dufan then. Dufan, <laughs> Universal Studio, Getting Highland. Yeah, and Taman Mini. Taman Mini. Taman Mini. And then, I think that's... Okay. But you are a girl. I mean, I don't think that a girl will enjoy playing roller coaster so much. What uh, about you? Do you enjoy that one? I very like that kind of amusement ride. I really like the extreme one. So oh, I like, like pre I like playing roller coaster, this flying fish. It's funny. This is strange yeah. because because <laughs> I know you. You like watching for horror yeah, movies. Yeah, so I very like horror movies. Yes, and then extreme. You try to find. The one that is most extreme. Yes, and next time I want wow. to try the bungee jumping. Oh bungee man, you are a girl, man. Let's <laughs> try that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's bungee challenging jumping. for me. Uh, mm. Wow, bungee jumping. What about like uh, so? So far, what is the most uh, extreme uh, ride that you have ever played? Just like the usual roller coaster. In yeah, in theme park mm. roller coaster, flying f uh, flying coaster. Mm. And yeah, flying fox. Like okay, that. so like when you travel, like let's say to the Singapore, to the Malaysia, or maybe to any other country, uh, it will be like you, you need to decide one thing. Uh, you can choose either to go with a small number of people or a large number of people. Some people like some people like to go with you know a small number of people because when you go with so so many people, it will be hard to decide things. I want to ah. go here. You want to yeah. go here? Oh no no no! I want to go here. Different people, different uh, uh, opinion. And you? I choose to go with small number of people, of course. Mm. Around maybe s uh, four until six. And yeah, the reasons? Because, because mm. uh, you know, like, uh, if we go t uh, with uh, too many people, too many people, uh, it's hard to arrange. Mm. Because, yeah, um, different people, different ones, so 
I prefer to go with small numbers. Mm, okay. And before we go to the third segment, uh, let me tell you a bit. We are going to show a video later about Maldives. By the way, have you ever been to Maldives before? No. No. But you wish. Yes, I wish. I uh, can go there. Is it the best island in the world or not? Uh, for me, uh, maybe it's uh, yeah. It is the best yeah. uh, island after Hawaii, I think, yeah. Hawaii. And Hawaii is good. And when do you think you will go to Maldives? Like, uh, next five years? I hope. You I hope? hope. <laughs> you really hope? After you, have really? after you have a family, maybe? Maybe I will go there because Maldives is must place to visit for me. Before we die? <laughs> yeah. Okay, and we will continue later the topic and uh, the conversation after the break. So don't get any words, stay tuned. Hi viewers, welcome back with us on Face to Face, your favorite talk show on this TV with me, Alessandro, as your host, and Liz Nasari as our guest. As I promised, we are going to watch a video regarding uh, how beautiful Maldives is. So check this out. So that's the video of Maldives. We really hope that you enjoyed the video, and I think everybody thinks that I need to go there before I die. And I feel the same. So now I am here in front of uh, in front of me is a globe, and we are going to be discussing like the places that we want to go. Let's say like three. So by the way, uh, listen now. Do you know where Maldives is? Um. Yeah, I think it's somewhere in Sri Lanka. Okay. And now we have a globe here. Yeah. Let's say you got a power. You could go to any three countries that you want. Where would you like to go? Let's go for the first place. First, of course, Seoul. Seoul, Seoul so in Korea. In Korea. Yeah. So this is Korea, Korea okay? Seoul. South Korea. South Korea. Why do you want to go here, by the way? Because of what? Yeah, because it's a drama. I have no. <laughs> because I this year I have my student exchange program to go there. Okay. So this one the is first my choice. first choice. The second choice would be. Of course, because I already in Korea, I want to travel around China. China. And China and. Why, by the way? Hmm, I don't know because I want to eat the Xiao Long Pao. Yeah. Xiao Long Pao. <laughs> What's that, by the way? Like. Uh, tradition food of China. It's mm. like kind of dim sum. Dim sum. Jala jala in Taman Anggrek. I recommend that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third one. Third one maybe. Is Japan, Japan. Oh, go back to Asia. So all this yeah. in Asia. This year I Why? hope I um yeah. Kawasaki. No. No, what? no, Osaka. Osaka, Osaka and Tokyo. Because I want to see the view. People say it's very nice there. Mm. So yeah, I want to go to Japan because Japan also it's not too far from Korea. And I think how about you? Well, I think uh, the country that I want to visit first is here is France. It's somewhere oh, in Europe. Europe. Okay, and the reason why I want to go here is because people always associate this place as a very romantic place. So whenever you want to get married or maybe like yeah. uh, celebrate your honeymoon, you can go here. And yeah. I think the second one, I think I'm going to go to still here. I think in Italy in Europe. Ah, because yeah. you know, like my name is Alessandro, and Alessandro originally comes from Italy, and that's why I really want to go here. And the uh, last one will be here, United States. US. And I'm going to go like uh, San Francisco, you know, like a very long bridge in San Francisco. Ah, uh, yeah, that's yeah. what I want to visit, actually. So th those are three countries of uh, that I want to visit and three countries that you want to visit. Yeah. OK, we will continue our conversation. I'll go back to my seat. OK. OK, so Maldives is really good, actually, yeah? And maybe like uh, while you while you really enjoy traveling, you really enjoy going on holiday, and maybe if you don't mind, share with us your very best experience so far in holiday. holiday. 
Um, I think it's last year, last year when I went to Bali. I also celebrate my birthday there, so it's kind of special holiday mm. with my friends. In Indonesia, we call it like sambil menyelam minum air. Yeah. So you travel and then you and celebrate. Celebrate. It's us. Uh, it was so fun because uh, I can celebrate my birthday um, with my friends in another island. Uh, 19th, 19th birthday. Yes, oh. 19th. And how many days did you spend there? One week. One, One week, week for go. Explore Bali. Why so long? One week. Yeah, usually I going to holiday is around that kind of. Oh. Long. It's not too long, I think, because uh, I want when I go to one place, I want to explore. Oh. All. So it's not um, ab only about three days. Mm. Uh, I think it's, it's not enough. It's yeah. It's not enough. And maybe you can tell me like a bit uh, when you went to Bali last year when you were celebrating your birthday. Yeah. What things did you happen to explore? Uh, I went to yeah, as you know, Bali is famous with their beach. So I went to many beach and then also the resort. Mm. It's a very nice, especially when I go to uh, Mulia, Mulia Resort, and also Ayana. Mm. It's the best place, and the nature. It's very great. The view is very great. Yeah, you make me really want to go there now. Yeah, let's go to Bali together next time. Okay, but the thing is like, uh, do people do snorkeling in Bali? I think yes, I think yes, but since I cannot swim, oh. I cannot do that. <laughs> uh, it's so sad. I really want to try diving and snorkeling actually, but yeah, I but cannot But I don't swim. think swimming matters when you want to do snorkeling because there will be like uh, a special tool given to you f for your safety, like, uh, I don't know, like uh, no. the, the equipment. For the snorkeling, you have to be able to, be able to, uh, swim. to, be able to swim. So those who cannot swim are not allowed yeah. to do snorkeling. Except maybe for diving, di mm. if you can swim, then uh, you can, but mm. it's a bit risky. Oh. Well, I can see that you really like to do snorkeling and then uh, diving you really wish to, and my recommendation is I suggest that you find, you know, a trainer in swimming. So hopefully you are able to swim and then you can realize your dream to do snorkeling yeah, and diving. Yeah, I think uh, in the past I already learned, mm. but it's not with my instructor, but with my friends. Mm. But still, uh, friends doesn't friends do not help. <laughs> trainer but does. But sometimes, uh, but still I cannot swim. Uh, it's so sad. Okay, I know that you have so many interesting holidays, but is there any one of your holidays that didn't go well as you expected? Um, and we will continue later that one, okay? Okay. After our video, so don't get any worse, stay tuned. Hi viewers, welcome back with us on Face to Face, the only English spoken program on Binus TV with me Alessandro as your host and Lisa Nasari as our guest. And we are going to show you a video which I believe you will be laughed, mesmerized because this video will show you the excitement in Dubai. So check this out. The warm shores of the Persian Gulf and the shifting sands of the Arabian Desert is the city of Dubai the largest emirate in the United Arab Emirates. For two centuries, Dubai was not much more than a tiny trading port on the banks of Dubai Creek. But in less than a single generation, the city has become a destination once relegated to the imaginings of science fiction writers. A place that defies its extreme environment and redefines everything we think we know about cities. Despite appearances, however, the foundations of this glittering citadel are not built on sand, 
but on thousands of years of Arabic culture and tradition. Step through the Vale of Islam at the Jumeirah Mosque, where non-Muslim visitors are invited to tour the beautiful interiors and take part in lively question and answer sessions. Head to the historic Bastakia Quarter and visit the Sheikh Mohammed Center for cultural understanding. Here you'll experience local customs, Bedouin hospitality and enjoy home-cooked Emirati food. To learn more about local traditions, go shopping the way Arab people have for centuries. Follow the scent of frankincense and herbs through the city's spice market. Then explore the hundreds of stores in the Gold Souk and discover why Dubai is known as the City of Gold. To explore the souks of the 21st century, head to Dubai Mall, home to a staggering 1,200 stores. Dubai Mall is also home to Kidzania, a miniature city complete with its own radio station, hospital and fire station, all run by children. But by far, the mall's biggest attraction is the Dubai Aquarium and Underwater Zoo. Take a walk through a watery world, filled with over 30,000 creatures from the deep, including enormous rays and sharks. Once you've explored the depths of the seven seas, step out and look to the heavens. Rising over half a mile into the sky is the breathtaking centerpiece of Dubai, the Burj Khalifa, the tallest structure ever built, three times the height of the Eiffel Tower and twice the size of the Empire State Building, the tip of this modern wonder can be seen from 60 miles away. Take a high-speed lift to the 124th floor observation deck, which gives expansive views of the city, a city that seems to grow before the eyes. The Burj Khalifa is particularly beautiful at night, especially when viewed through Dubai Fountain's dancing waters. Everywhere you look in Dubai, you'll come face to face with daring projects which almost defy belief. Enjoy a few Arabian nights at Madinat Jumeirah, a five-star resort styled upon a traditional Arabian town. or sail into a sea of luxury at Burj Al Arab, a seven-star hotel whose graceful curves echo the traditional wooden vessel of the Gulf. When temperatures climb, head to one of the city's public beaches, like Mamza Beach Park. Or, for a small fee, enjoy the luxurious amenities of one of the many private hotel beaches. Hmm, that's the video, Dubai, and I know that you are not confused if you were given like a choice as to go to Dubai or Maldives, you will be very, very confused. What about you, Disna? Dubai or Maldives? I prefer Dubai. Because? Because I want to see the Burj Khalifa, the tallest mm. building in the world, and also in Dubai you can, uh, you just, uh, you can uh, see the nature also, so if we go to Maldives, you can um, also see the nature. Yeah. But when you go to Dubai, you can see both. Both. And you mentioned before that it, w it that it is the tallest building in the world. Yeah. Wow. So when you when we are there in the on the top, we can see pretty much everything. Yeah, I, but I think we can go to the uh. Uh, to the uh, because it's kind of private, mm. private, private. So how about you? You? Well, Dubai or Maldives? Well, I think still it's the same with you. Like maybe I'll go to Dubai because you know so many things that we can see there. Yeah. Uh, if you want to relax yourself with a beach, we have a beach there. Yeah, uh, that's right. The, the hotel, right? But uh, Maldives only one. Yeah. But still, both of them are actually great. Nice. It's de it depends on you. And now, like, uh, go back to my previous question, asking you, is there any of your holidays that didn't go as well as you expected? 
Uh, because I always um, have a plan before I go. Yeah, I have a preparation. So I think my holiday all went well. Mm. And I believe that you have some tips behind uh, your preparation because I mean you have never had a bad yeah. holiday. That means you do. You have some tips. Maybe you can share with us. Maybe like, what are the tips? Yeah, I have three tips to consider here. The first one, avoid peak travel dates because Sorry, what's the uh, avoid? avoid peak, mm. peak travel dates mm. because yeah, yeah, if you go on holiday in like a uh, peak holiday like New Year yeah the ticket price is so high mm. so try to find the best uh, month to go on holiday and when do you recommend somebody to go on holiday like June January February I think February it's okay. Uh, Our birthday, uh, February. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And April, April and May, I think uh, it's the best month. So that's the first tip to consider when mm. to uh, go on a date. Avoid uh, what was that big? Big travel date. Okay. The second one is. And then the second one is pack your baggage nicely mm. because if you go on holiday and you carry on so much baggage, it will. Mm. Cause you some trouble. You yeah, know. I think it's not uh, give you. It, it will give you difficulty to go on holiday with so much baggage. I and then the last one is. And then the last one is, um, don't go with no plan. Mm. I mean, like. Um, you need to have a plan. Yes, because if you go on holiday, you have to know uh, what place you oh. want to visit, and then reserve the or uh, try to find uh, a place to uh, stay because if we uh, okay. don't have plan we will uh, hurt okay. once we get there okay thank you for this now for the three yeah. tips and then this is face to face i think we need to go on holiday because we need to reflect on our life every once in a while my name is Alessandro this is face to face and see you next time